Welcome to episode 1616, Gail Miller, Nine Lessons. These are pictures of Gail Miller and husband. This is an outline of episode 1616, lesson 1 to 5. This is lesson 6 to 9. Lesson 1, she has only high school education and was born poor. A very simple street, Salt Lake City, just north of downtown, was established by the Mormon pioneers when the hillside hustle. And as I counted the stairs, I didn't have any money, didn't have any toys, didn't have opportunity to go to girls' camp, didn't have a lot of things. And two, the seed money and first business. In 1979, my husband Larry and I took our life savings of $88,000, borrowed the rest, and took a great leap of faith when we bought our first dealership. From there, I think we've experienced all the challenges of growing our company to maturity. We and three $20 million government bond. In Utah Jazz. Larry Miller needed the city to commit to $20 million in bonds to get the land and some improvements. Lesson four, she more than doubled the business in 13 years. Knew that we had something really great and we needed to continue, which at that time was a little over 5,000 employees. Today, today. today it's almost 12. <laughs> Lesson five, to turn around specialists. In 85, we had, we were approached about helping to keep the jazz in Utah because they had had financial problems ever since they came here, which was the same year we started our business. Lesson six, crazy and risky leverage. The Utah Jazz NBA basketball team was up for sale. Financial record indicates a loss of $17 million over 11 years. Well, you can buy this company for $8 million, twice over his net worth. Now, that's crazy. Lesson 7, selling most of the assets. 2020, she sold a Utah Jazz team to Ryan Smith for $1.66 billion. All of the Larry H. Miller car dealerships are being sold to a new owner. An Atlanta-based automotive group bought the 61 dealerships and 11 collision centers for $3.2 billion. Lesson 8, doing the impossible. We're proud of you. You know, it's said that uh, hard things take a little time, the impossible take a little longer. This one's taken a little longer than you hoped it would take, but uh, you've done what many people, I think, felt was impossible. Lesson 9, the value of consistency. This little trait that you've adopted. I think consistency. We, we do the right thing in the right way every day for the right reason. And that consistency, with that consistency, it's really hard to fail. It doesn't mean you won't have ups and downs or bumps along the way. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone... Peace and prosperity.